Hi everyone, Ryan Lestrange here with today's Monday Word. And my Monday Word is Fear Free Transition. I believe the Lord is speaking to so many of us. So many of you have written to me and commented on these videos about the, the, the overwhelming urgency you have about a shift in your life. Many of the ministers have said, I'm shifting in my ministry. I'm here right now in the nation of Belize and we've been prophesying and decreeing shift in this territory. We've seen a shift happening. And one of the scriptures we've been preaching this weekend is 1 Kings 17, one of my favorite stories in the Bible, where Elijah sent by a prophetic word to the brook Cherith. But suddenly one day the brook dries up. And there's a whole revelation in that uh, that one statement. But as the brook dries up, Elijah receives a second word. And the second word is about another shift that he's about to make. Oftentimes before a shift, you will receive a prophetic instruction. Sometimes it'll come in your private prayer time. Sometimes it'll come through a prophet. When you know, Oftentimes when prophets come on the scene, uh, that's an indicator of a shift because prophets are continually speaking from the realm of the spirit and urging us up higher, urging us to move deeper. And so Elijah hears the word, get to Zarephath and I've commanded a widow woman there to sustain you. Now you and I would think that when he gets to Zarephath, he's going to find a wealthy woman, but he finds this downtrodden woman that says, I'm about to eat my last meal. She was literally planning to die. She had no faith at that time. She had no promise at that time. She was planning to die, but God sends a prophet in the midst of her destruction. That's why I love the prophetic anointing. It often comes in the midst of destruction and begins to speak life. And I believe the Lord is raising up more and more prophets that will speak life in this hour, that will speak to the promise, that will speak to the destiny. They won't just speak about the negative that's going on, but they'll look beyond that and they'll see the diamond hidden way deep in the earth amongst all the junk and all the sin and all the bondage and they'll call forth that destiny. And so the prophet gives the woman an impossible instruction. Many times before you navigate a shift, there will come a seemingly impossible instruction. But God said this, things are impossible with men, but all things are possible to him who believes. If we partner with the instruction, we partner with the prophetic decree, it opens up the realm of possibility. And so the woman says, I'm going to eat my last meal and die. And the prophet says, before you do that, make a little cake and bring it to me. She was receiving an instruction of shift. Look, you're about to shift out of this defeat into victory. You're about to shift out of famine into provision. You're about to shift out of failure in, in, into promise. But first, you've got to obey an impossible instruction. I believe many of us are being shifted right now. We're being transitioned to next level assignment. You know, when people climb up on high mountains, when they go and, and tackle some of the world's great mountains like the Himalayas, they do all kinds of preparatory uh, breathing exercises exercises to increase their lung capacity, to get used to soaring at higher levels. Each level has a different climate. And with that climate, there are different blessings and there are different challenges. And so part of the transition is learning to overcome the fear that as the Lord speaks and says, you're going to the next level, we are conditioned by Holy Spirit to advance to the next level. And we do not listen to the voice of our flesh. We do not listen to the voice of the enemy that tries to program us with fear. And so Elijah says, this to the woman when she says I'm about to die he says fear not go and do as you said but make me a little cake first and bring it he was giving her a prophetic way of escape. He said, you're about to transition, but fear will stop the transition. Fear limits you. When God takes you to new levels, you're not always going to feel comfortable there. You're not always going to feel equipped for where you're going. You're not always going to feel like the most likely candidate. Listen, God asks us to do the impossible. I believe God is mantling a generation with possibility. God is mantling a generation with healing power. God is mantling a generation with revival. God is mantling a generation of new breed prophets that are going to rise in the earth and speak forth the promises of God, that are going to prophesy over the root system of revival in nations and territories. But many times the enemy is going to lie and he's going to say, you're not qualified. You're not able. Well, I might not be qualified in the natural. I might not be able in the natural, but the one who is lives in me and lives in you. And we are going to make fear-free transitions. In the midst of a shift, the voice of fear will arise. It'll try to stop you. Fear halts you. Fear Fear limits you. Fear binds you. But faith releases you. Faith catapults you. And so today I just want to decree over you. It's time to make some fear-free transitions. Listen to the voice of Elijah to that widow woman. Fear not. 
Fear not, but do as the Lord has said. The Lord has promised you some things, and I want to encourage you, fear not today, but advance under the wind of God. Amen? Father, I thank you for my friends. I just prophesy shift. People are shifting in their ministries. People are shifting in their callings. People are shifting in their territories. And I just speak forth, God, divine transition, not demonic transition, but divine transition. And I thank you for fear-free transitions. I rebuke the spirit of fear. We will not heed the voice of limitation. We will not heed the voice of opposition, but we will hear your voice and we will advance under the sound of your voice today. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.